Hi there, it's Wave McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to be walking through showing you how to use uh, Buffer to schedule and automate your social media. So, now the way it works is um, if you've got a free plan, you can, I think you can schedule up to 10 posts or so. I've actually got the Pro plan, plan which used to be called the Awesome Plan. It allows me to schedule, I think, about 100 posts uh, across 10 uh, social media profiles. And uh, it's pretty handy. It's got a nice setup the way that you can basically set up a calendar, and all you do is simply click add in your post in here, add to the queue, and it'll automatically add it into the queue based on your calendar. So you don't have to worry about setting dates or anything if you don't want to, because your calendar will actually take care of that for you. So there's a few different options as to what you can add. If I go into manage social accounts here for a second, you'll see what I've got here, but if I go to add a new social account, you can see what options that we do have. You can add a Facebook page or a group or an Instagram business page or an Instagram personal page. I would recommend going to business though. A Twitter account, LinkedIn page or profile or Pinterest. So these are sort of pretty much your, some of your main um, social media accounts that you probably want to schedule with to market uh, anything that you're trying to push. But um, just zoom in a bit on those. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's pretty cool and nifty. Um, so sort of selection you have there and very flexible. So if I head back to the Buffer dashboard, I'll run you through a little bit of how this works. Well, as I said before, here's where you add your post, but I wanna sort of come back to that. First, I wanna go through um, past reminders. This is an Instagram only thing where uh, quite often if there's something you can't post, such as you can't do multiple images in an Instagram post, it'll actually add a reminder and it'll pop up on your phone asking you, uh, reminding you to create that post. But analytics is good too. If I go into analytics, I can see uh, previous posts I've made and it gives me sort of how many comments and likes each of them have. And uh, that way, if I want to, I can actually add it to the list again and even change some of it. So it's pretty cool in that sense. Uh, some pretty cool options there. Drafts, if you have any drafts, you know, you can sort of, if you have the business plan, you can work with the team and create some drafts. But under settings is sort of where the more interesting stuff is. So at the moment, of link shortening, you can add that link shortening on there. I actually prefer not to have that on, so I'm just gonna put on no shortening. Um, you can set on Instagram reminders for all posts, uh, but I prefer just to post directly, I'd rather just turn set and forget basically. Um, you can even shuffle your queue. So if you have a whole bunch of posts on there and you put them in a very particular order, but you want it to be more random, you can actually shuffle the entire queue that you have over here. Hypothetically, if this is my Facebook, page here. If I have all these posts here lined up ready to go, I can go into my settings, shuffle the queue, it'll shuffle it. And now if I go back to that queue, it's in a different order. Shuffle basically. So that's a pretty cool feature. And uh, but the main thing is if you go here under posting schedule, you'll see here, so this is the for this Facebook account, I have postings on for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday. I go back up to this Instagram account, which I haven't got anything lined up on. Um, I've got a posting schedule. I've got more days set up because I actually haven't used this yet. I've set it up and uh, basically just left it there, uh, but it's set up to post four times a day. So uh, what you can do if you want to add and subtract from that is let's say I don't want to post on Friday at all. I'll just simply X all these times out. X, I can make it one or two times a day if I want to. And you just go through and remove the times you don't want. And if you want to add in time, you can choose to add in every day, weekdays, weekends. Let's say I want to post uh, only, let's say I want to add to Saturday and Sunday. Let's say I want to add weekends at 12, let's say 12.06 p.m. I'm going to add that posting time. But for Saturday, I also want to add another time at say 5.15 p.m. So you can basically add and subtract times there. And the cool thing about Buffer is, if I get rid of some of these here, if I head back to the queue, you'll see I've got here the date, the time, it shows me where it's going. Now I can go up here and simply add it to the queue or I can click on a spot here to schedule a post in there if I want to. And I can set up a campaign uh, as well. If I head up to campaigns at the top left here, you can actually set up campaign names and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's pretty flexible because you can schedule it at a time on here or if I go into this here, I'm actually gonna set up a post for Instagram. So I'm going to click on this image here. I'm going to upload an image of me that I've actually got planned. And I'm going to copy 
some text I've set up for it because I'm sure you don't want me to sit there and type it up. I'm going to paste this text in place. And this is basically my post. Now the cool thing is I can also add in a first comment if I want to. Uh, so I can post, I can also have a comment. Um, what's your story? With quitting your job. Have you done it or are you planning to leave a comment? And basically, That'll add that, and if I want to type in a location again as well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So here's what I can do. I can add it to the queue here. I can hit this drop down. I can choose to have it share next. So if I had an entire queue, instead of it going to the bottom of the queue, it would go to the top of the queue, or I can schedule it for a specific time. It doesn't have to be on the, on the actual calendar. So I can schedule it for an exact time. If I click on that, I can choose the time and the date here. So you've got a few options as to how you do that. I can share it now if I want to, but I can also add this to the queue. So now it's actually on my queue and we'll share tomorrow. But here's the other interesting thing. If I can go in, I can obviously edit this at any time. So if I click over this, I can click edit. And I can go in and edit whatever I want in here at any time. And of course, when I'm done, I can save. And if I'm a little impatient, I can actually share it now. So I'm going to do that and share that right now. So you can see it's sharing. So this is really handy because when you go to Instagram on your browser, you can't actually share directly from the browser. So if I actually go and um, just sort of create a new tab, head to Instagram. Go to my profile. You'll see it has now been shared. It's got my comment on there already. So it's actually pretty handy, uh, even just for people using Instagram, to be able to post through your PC, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing is, if I go here, because I've got a few posts on here, to this Facebook page, I'm not stuck with just this stream here. I can go here to Week, and it'll open up a new tab. I can see for the week what's actually being shared and at what time. I can move this around if I want to to a different time and set a custom schedule. I can move it to another spot in the schedule if I want to. So I've got the op opportunity to move this around as I see fit. Um, so it's actually pretty handy. But if I shut that down, go back and click on month, I basically get the exact same options on a monthly timetable. So we've got all these posts here showing at 4.15 or whatever. If I want to change that, maybe I will custom schedule this one for say 7.48. Now I have a custom schedule post here at 7.48 and you can hover over it, see what that post is and um, see exactly what you're looking at. So you don't just have to rely entirely on the feed. You can move things around in a calendar as well, which is incredibly handy and um, yeah, it's just a really awesome feature. So that's basically how you can share. Um, like I said, I can go in here, I can edit any of these at any time. If I want to, while I'm typing up, oh, close the composer, I can share to multiple things at once. So if I wanted to click a few of these, I could go ahead and type. Usually it will add uh, more than one uh, window there for you to type into, depending on what you're typing. But um, yeah, pretty handy and uh, just a really simple and easy easy to manage way to schedule your posts. So the next tool I want to look at actually is actually part of Buffer. It's called Bulk Buffer. So if I get over here and head to bulkbuffer.com, bulkbuffer.com, I actually got this connected up to my Buffer account and I can upload bulk files. So basically what I have here is a text file. It's literally a list, there's some yeah, some links, a lot of links, some text. I can upload this entire, uh, basically this entire text file onto Buffer and that way 
it'll actually, I don't have to sit there and put them all in one by one. But there are easier ways of doing that still. This is probably the quickest way of doing it. So I will show you how to do that quickly. So I had to start uploading for free. I allow access. I'm gonna pick the accounts I want this to go to. So I'm gonna go with the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm gonna turn off LinkedIn. And it says here, click and drag or drag a file or I can upload. And you can see them all here, pretty much ready to go. So I can preview them and see exactly what I'm gonna be uploading. And um, I've got these two selected. So I just click send a buffer. It's not the quickest uh, approach in the world. Uh, it does take a little bit of time for each one to go through. You can see these ticking over. So this is one of those situations where you just walk away and let it do its business. But if I head back over here and I go to my Creator Impact Twitter, which was empty, now I've actually uploaded a few updates and the bits and pieces aren't loading just yet, but you can see that it's actually putting everything on there for me, which is pretty straightforward, uh, pretty pretty easy. Uh, allows you to get a lot done in one time, especially if you keep a, a list of content. Now, the other thing too is uh, the buffer extension. So if I actually head here, go to preferences, and then to apps and extras, you see here, I can install a browser extension, which is very handy as well. And you'll see also, you can actually have a mobile, there's a mobile app and an app you can use for tablets as well. So you don't have to do this on a PC, you can do it on your phone or tablet. And I've actually got a few other things linked up such as IFTTT. I do wanna show you that very quickly just before I get into the browser extension. So this is IFTTT, which stands for is if this then that. And the idea is you can link up different services and it'll uh, automate and schedule things for you. So if we're using Buffer, what we can do is actually connect Buffer to Facebook um, and uh, unlock some features. But uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these, I'm not gonna show you all these, just sort of show you what's available to you. So uh, things like uh, you know, automatically Buffer articles that are saved for later, Feedly. So if you save something for later on Feedly, it automatically gets put into your Buffer queue. Uh, also, any Instagram photos, if you post to Instagram, automatically goes to your Buffer queue so you can post to other networks. So that way, if you are using Instagram primarily, you can actually automatically update your other social media networks. Uh, I actually have used this to, for Pinterest myself. And uh, there's a few other options there. Uh, RSS to Buffer, so if you've got a blog or maybe you wanna share uh, someone else's blog posts automatically, Whenever they release a, an update and the RSS feed updates, it then pops that into your buffer feed so that you can then share that automatically as part of your queue. So there's a whole bunch of options there under IFTTT for buffer, which gives it just that little bit more automation to make it just that bit easier for you. But if I go and actually get the browser extension and install it, which I have here, let's say I've got uh, this post of mine, if I click on the buffer extension at the top here, it takes me to buffer, but uh, you can actually see if I hover over some things, and usually there's actually, I've got the Pinterest extension here, it's actually, I think, possibly interfering with it, but I can go to right click and buffer this page. So if I have a link, and you know, I'm on a page I wanna share, I can go to buffer this page, You can see I've got a few things selected. I'm gonna go into here and I can even add this image. So I'm actually sharing an image with text and a link on it. Um, I'm gonna turn off LinkedIn, go back into Facebook. I can actually write something in there which I need to for Facebook's term of service. So I'll just simply copy and paste that there. And I can replace the link attachment with an image or video. So once again, something else on there and I can add that to my queue. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I go back to this post again, if I want to, say I've got a quote here, looks nice, I can right click, and once again, I can go to buffer and I can buffer the selected text. Now, one thing that's also cool is if I want to do this, I can highlight this, buffer, create image with Pablo. If I click on that, there's actually a very basic uh, quote image creator that comes with buffer. So if I choose this water section here, you see it tick over in a sec. I can click on this, make the text a bit larger, change the font, 
There's a whole bunch of uh, Google fonts on here. Make a bold. You got a whole different bunch. There's a whole also a bunch of uh, sort of different dimensions you can work with. Uh, heavy contrast. So you can actually create some pretty nifty. Um, you can pop a logo in there. You can create some very nifty quote sort of images in Buffer as well using Publo, which is just sort of hooks in through the through the extension nicely, and uh, you can share and download when you're done. So I thought I'd show you guys that quickly too. Now the other thing that I really like about if I head back to Facebook, this is just the YouTube Facebook page. If I want this uh, post here, if I want to share this post, I now have a buffer button on my Facebook um, section there. So if I click on buffer, once again, it'll take me to buffer and I've got this, in, this picture here from Facebook. Same goes for Twitter. I've got the buffer symbol here. I can click on that, reshare, and go from there. So the buffer extension allows you to pretty much, if you're scrolling through and you're looking for content to reshare, you can actually just simply pop it into your buffer schedule by clicking that buffer button, loading it up, everything's there for you, and then you share, add it to your queue, and just keep on moving from there. So that's pretty much the guts of it. That's the, the majority of what I wanted to go through in this video, but uh, you can see, it's, uh, there's just so many different options. The fact that you can load up and automate quite easily within the actual uh, queue itself is very powerful. And then of course, the fact that you can be visiting other websites now uh, and going by page. Like I said, if you've got an image you wanna share, normally you could actually, oh, here we go. So I've hovered over this image, I've got share image. There's a more interesting image. So maybe this one here, I click share image. And I can actually buffer that image as well. So you can see here, the image is all loaded up. So you've got so many cool uh, features with the buffer extension that allows you to share from web pages and other social media platforms. Uh, and yeah, it just allows you to take a lot of control over your social media and really speed up and be super productive when you're trying to create a lot of content for the future. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it useful. Now, uh, there's no affiliate program for Buffer, so I'm not trying to make any money from you, but if you want to sign up, head to buffer.com and just uh, check out their plans there. You can start for free and try it out. You can still use the extension, I'm pretty sure, and uh, go from there. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos uh, like this, please uh, give this video a like and sub consider subscribing. And anything else you'd like to see or any input you have about this video, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope to talk to you again soon. Have a great day.